YouTubers, this is AJM Gamer Girl, and today we're playing Guardians of the Galaxy, a Telltale game series, and this is episode three, more than a feeling. Um, this is gonna be the full episode, um, chapters one to six. This, yeah. I always confuse myself whether it's six chapters or five chapters. I always, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, these things are always long. Um, I don't like breaking them up because I, I want to keep you engaged with what's going on instead of having to look at something and then relook at something else and go, you know, hunting for it again. But, anyways, um, I need to restart this episode. I started it, and for some reason, it wasn't capturing it. So I'm just gonna restart um, the the whole chapter again. Oh man! Thank you guys so much for your support. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for your patience. Um, all this stuff is, takes forever to load. I hate that part. I just want to get in there and start starting. You don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys, Ugh. there was someone. Oh, I hated this part. That part made me cry. So bad. Yeah. This, that episode made me cry. It was like, I hope I'm not gonna be doing any crying in this one because. <laughs> <laughs> that will She's be gone, embarrassing. But maybe with that relic, I can make her ungone. All right, here we go. Yeah, so I know you've got. We're a back in here. Mind. We're kind of trying to figure thought. out what happened to our maybe mom. We're too. going down um, memory me lane, which is kind of kinda like fists. not a not well, that great for him I right promise. now. So we'll see what happens. Thank you, baby. If we get to bring our mom back or not, I don't know. The so Eternity we'll see what Forge happens. resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. She? Come find me, Peter. Hmm. Be waiting for you. She. It's a, it's a she. Okay. Come on, loading screen. Seriously. I think they need to get a little bit better with the loading. It's, it takes forever to load. Are we? Are we where? Am I gonna follow you again? I don't want to follow you. She's looking at me like, what kind of voodoo? <laughs> what kind of voodoo spell am I under? Alright. An old video store? Comic book store? VHS? Well, I haven't seen VHS in years. I got it, Mom. Thanks, baby. <sighs> Another headache? Just a little one. Stop worrying. It's fine. Just took me by surprise. Didn't look like a little headache. Nothing I can't handle. Especially with you looking out for me. No, really. Oh, thanks. I better get that prescription before the pharmacy closes. Stay out of trouble till I get back, okay? Be good. I know that's not always easy for you. <laughs> no dice, Mom. You gotta love me for who I am. <laughs> oh, I do. Sometimes against my better judgment. I'll be back soon. Hey, Pete. Hey, Mr. Pinkle. Here to get Mr. that mixtape copied? What kind of name is that, Mr. Pinkle? Sure is a nice thing to hey, do for your Hey, kids. Mom. This is Mr. Pinkle. How's she doing, anyway? <laughs> well, she's not doing so well. I'm sorry to hear that, Pete. Well, I'm sure this is going to make her feel a lot better. Music's got some powerful mojo. 
both sides. Come back in about an hour, and it'll be ready. Oh, douchebag just walked through the doorway. I can tell. Hey, Petey. You make that mix for your boyfriend? <laughs> I made it for your mom. <laughs> Watch it, or you'll be oh. swallowing your own teeth. I had to. <coughs> I'm gonna break oh, it man. again. You afraid I'm that gonna was hit like, you again? Wow, <laughs> what a choice. You. Pretending you got balls. Hey, mm -mm. how's that lip doing? I'm sorry, dude, but I don't have Give me any that. balls. What are you doing here anyway? You don't have money. Everyone in town's talking about it. Your mom can't even pay her medical bills. She's been going door to door asking for help like some pathetic loser. Wow. He's She's probably mean. off looking for change in the sewers right now. Yeah, maybe she'll get lucky and find a quarter. Screw you! <laughs> Aww. I heard Petey's brutal feelings. You gonna go cry to mommy? Have her change your diapers? Because well, somebody with a black eye, you really got some big mouth. You gonna cry now? Huh? I'm gonna smack him. <laughs> Knock his ass out. <laughs> Ooh, boombox. <laughs> uh oh. Hey! Hey, stop! <laughs> I didn't mean what I said. I, I, I'm sorry. Well, Peter! Please, please! <laughs> what did you do? Peter, he was saying mean stuff about you, about our family. I did this for you, Mom. I don't care what he said. Those are just words. And this is the last thing I ever would have wanted. <coughs> you okay? I think he might have broken my jaw. We talked <laughs> about this, Peter. You promised me you wouldn't fight. <laughs> In my first walkthrough, that's not the way it went. I wanted to see what I, would happen I if I went that you. way. I, in my first walkthrough, I used um, words instead of my fist, but um, I still ended up beating the crap out of him because he called my mom a walking dead person. So um, I wanted to see how everything would play out if so I went. Close. If I went differently, and um, t it turned out pretty awesome. <laughs> to be honest, it feels good beating up a bully. <laughs> oh. What the? <coughs> How did I get home? So, um, if you do uh, choose talk with words, you still end up beating him up. But um, the interaction from the mom and him at the end was a little bit different. So um, she got more pissed off at him for beating up the guy the second time. The first time she wasn't so mad um, when I explained to to her what he, you know, what he had done. So um, that that was good to see what? the difference with my choices. Gamora. So hey. she's talking to the beast. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't catch that. This <laughs> this temple my is keeps really messing with, with my head. Again. Uh, what'd you say? She's always so angry. Hello, Gamora. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, Gamora. Come on, what? Nebula. What are you doing? You can do better than that. Okay. Good to see you too. Back off, Gamora. Seriously. Stop it. I... Come on, this isn't fair. I don't have a sword. Uh... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. She about to give me a shave. Wait, Kamora. Oh, please don't die. Oh, I swear this game's gonna break my controller even more. Why they made these controllers so cheap? Focus. Somebody tell me this. We pay what sixty dollars for a controller, and yet they can't last us need to be aware more than a year. Around you. Jeez, I've got four of them, and all of them are broken. Strength and speed. 
None of them are important when I'm stuck here. I feel like the PS3 controllers were way stronger than these ones. I'm sick of just doing the same thing over and over. I know you think you want this, but once you've taken a life, there's no going back. Thanos will make you kill again and again, and pretty soon that's all you'll be. A murderer. At least I'd be something. Whoa. I was close. I <laughs> smelled like that blade right here. <laughs> Hardly. A little impressive. Just a little. The last time I let her win and I didn't like how things turned out. This time I'm not gonna let her win. I wanna see what happens. I can't. Gamora, <coughs> you're hurting me. <sighs> Father. Nebula, you have grown so much. Father. You may yet be the greatest assassin in the galaxy. Okay, he's still saying the same shit. Don't show. you agree, Gamora? <laughs> hmm. She only won because she cheated. She blindsided me. If you had a blindside, the fault is yours. I have a mission for you. You will go to a Kree outpost on the planet of Phalion. There you will find General Tarval. He has come into possession of something I require. A device. Gamora, I'm trying to see you how will this will turn, turn out. Oh, she's still doing this. You, <laughs> Nebula. You will kill the General. Thank you, Father. I, I promise you, I will succeed. I know you will, daughter. Daughter. Gamora. Daughter. You were always you are my ready. favorite. <laughs> but you have become cold, distant. Father. I you are ready to go into Nebula the abyss ready. and prove She's yourself to me. Do not question you my judgment. are the worthy one. You have <laughs> lost any confidence I had in you. Go and prepare. You will head out immediately. But why? Gamora, I'm all sweaty and I stinky. No I would care. like to take a shower. But if you fail, your sister will pay for your missteps. Damn. Tell Nebula I wish to speak with her. So, if the mission doesn't go uh, well, I'm going to... No, she will pay for my missteps. Is everything alright? What's going on? I couldn't hear you, but father... Um, he didn't look happy. Everything is fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. That's not what it looked like. Nebula! Come here! No. Don't make me come over there and drag you by the hair you do not have. <laughs> oh, she's looking at them with that look on her face like she's about to kill somebody i guess this is it my chance to prove myself or fail miserably <sighs> don't worry nebula i've got your back no I've got to do this myself. It's what I've been training for. I won't let father down. Okay. Well, then I'm your sister, and I got Let's your back. Let's just do this. That's what I just said. Okay. What a throne room. 
Danny's strong room is better looking than yours. <laughs> Sad that she's only got two dragons now. <laughs> okay, don't mess up the buttons. There we go. So you mean to tell me I just knocked that guy out cold? And this dude over here is still on the computer like he didn't hear that shit. What about the other guy standing right there? I was about to say. He didn't hear me smacking the shit out of that guy. Stealth mode, Melbila. Have you ever heard of it? Shit. Oh shit. That's the wrong button for a minute there. I'm not gonna save her. I don't wanna save her. I don't want to save her. I'm gonna keep saying it again. I do not want to save her. Nebula. Hmm. Do I? I hesitated. I. <laughs> I thought she was gonna take the kill instead of me, but it didn't work out like that. She didn't take the kill. I thought she wanted the kill. Okay, so s Nebula. knowing what I know from my previous playthrough, um, that's why I hesitated to kill him, but you guys will see why I hesitated to kill him now. Um. Nebula! Nebula, are you alright? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill. Oh, uh, I just freaking died. No, you didn't had him. My father will be so upset with me. You distracted him. I killed him. We did this together. But father, Thanos can complain about who did what all he wants. I don't care. Father. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Okay, I wanna give me the I device wanna... in exchange. Give it to me. Now let's see, let's see. I'm not asking here. Fine. Here. Hey, it's going to be fine. We're going to be okay. <gasps> oh my god, the bitch still killed me. Really? The <sighs> wow. The first time I didn't give it to her, she killed me. Now, I wanted to see if I gave it to her, if she would still stab me. And yes, she did. She still stabbed me. So, I guess that's why I hate her guts so much. I wouldn't blame myself for why I hate her. Wow. She stabbed me. No wonder why she hates her. Are you serious? I did the total opposite of what I did in my first playthrough when I didn't get the, the captured working, but you know, I did the total opposite and the outcome was still the same. Wow. <coughs> you slapped me. Ouch. <laughs> you tried to stab me. So maybe we're even. Perhaps. Okay, so I don't know what happened. Um, one minute you and I were walking into the temple, and, and the next yeah, I was. Yeah, I uh, I know. Wait, were you? Did you see all that? My memory. Are you okay? That's just weird. I've been trying not to think of that day, because I really want to fix things with Nebula. Seeing that, she thought I was being selfish, taking away everything she worked so hard to achieve. That's why she turned on me. She tried to kill you. There is no excuse for that. Look, if anyone deserves to hold a grudge, <laughs> it's you. That's not how Nebula sees it. That last moment, it became everything. All I remembered of her. But 
There were times we were happy, despite Thanos, despite everything. We had each other. No. Maybe, maybe I could have done more. Been more honest with how I was feeling. Stop just seeing her as someone I needed to protect. Gamora. She didn't want your help. She wanted to prove herself on her own. Even if it meant hurting you. I know, but... Nebula is who she is because of me. That hatred. That coldness. Her inability to trust anyone. How would she is Thanos' that daughter. Be? Who else could she be after I betrayed her? How did you betray her? I failed her. You tried to save her life and that's betrayal. Okay. I'm just confused. Listen. You are my friend. And I don't make friends with failures, okay? I, uh, don't think that's true. Look, the point is, <laughs> no matter what you did in the past, I will always stand by. Is she trying to say that I made friends with a failure? Call you my um, that is hmm. so cheesy. I know, but I think I've made my point. Now, come on. Let's figure out why the Forge brought us here before things get even more... Weird. Oh man, my mom loved this song. Sorry guys, no song, no music. Non-stop. Sorry, I don't want to get a copyright strike, so I do apologize for not having the music on. Ugh. Peter, wait. Why? This place. It seems to be using our memories against us. No. We don't know what we'll find inside. Yeah, well, if anything goes wrong, you'll be here to protect me, right? <laughs> You're not saying anything, and it's super worrying. Uh, Gamora, seriously? That look was priceless on her face. This place? Yeah. Yeah. It's a church where this we is buried where my mom. our mom. Duh. This is where I saw her last. I mean, you don't see that coffin in front of us? I don't know what all this means, Peter. Me neither, man. But I hope somehow you get your mom back. Yes. I hope so too. Oh, the yeah. option is there. Alright. <laughs> I hope so too. <laughs> She's your family. Your real family. I know how much she means to you. Okay, here we go. That's weird. It just stopped. Mom? <sighs> okay, so they're back in the temple again? Crazy. This time, where his mom is? Okay. Oh. 
I'm getting freaking goosebumps looking at this. Well, that's surely not his mom. Who are you? That's definitely not his mom. You have known me for a while now. Not your mom, right? Definitely not. <laughs> you, you came for me after all these. Ooh, what are these? They are very shiny. Really? Hey, over here. Oh, Peter Quill. How'd you know my name? You're really here. It's been centuries. No, millennia. How do you know who I am? We have met. We have? But I was not me. And then who were you? So, my mom is the alien? May I borrow that? Okay. Why? <laughs> oh, jeez. You're gone. It will only be for a moment. Uh, yeah, sure. Is she what? gonna stick me up? I have another one. Why didn't she just push it off in her hands? Okay. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> it is so wonderful to be free of that tomb. I no longer trapped in my own mind. Still don't know who she is. Alone. You are truly the hero the legends foretold. So brave. And handsome. Ooh. Well, no. Because you might be my mom. The classical sense. Ooh. What? Ha! <laughs> you asked many questions for me. Uh. I crossed the entire galaxy because my mom was calling to me, asking me to come find her. Where is she? She is dead. Oh boy. But your mother, Meredith. She is alive in your memory. Yeah, that, uh, that doesn't explain anything. I have been waiting for you all this time. Uh. The moment you touched the forge, oh. I knew you were the celestial one. That you could free me. I still don't so know I who she out is. To you the only way I could. Through your memories. The ones most vivid to you. But you must understand, I had no control over them. I... Oh no, that is not what I wanted at all. Her antennas were glowing. I am so sorry. <laughs> I truly did not know you'd feel so violated. I'd hoped you would feel glad to see her again. I did not mean for my abilities to hurt you. I... You're welcome. Hold oh, the crap, she knows what I'm about to how say. How could you possibly know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady. <laughs> I can show you, oh. angry lady. No, <laughs> never mind. May I show you? She's right. Please, I mean no harm. Yeah. Do it again. Do it again. Come oh on. my God, he's like a little child in the pleasure. candy store. Oh, this isn't going to go well. Her antenna glows. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Inside joke. Inside <laughs> joke. That's funny. <laughs> Oh boy. You see, I am an empath. Oh. I can read the emotions of others. Oh. It is my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. That could really come in handy. <laughs> oh, she's got to meet the rest of the group. Yeah. Introduce an emotionally charged being to a group who are emotionally sensitive. <laughs> who should we try on first? Uh. Drox. I got just the one. <laughs> then rocket, then group. <laughs> I'm going in the order of sadness and anger. 
<laughs> That's how I'm gonna do it. And I'm only what doing Groot. <laughs> Groot last because I don't know what the hell he says half the, the time. The green tattoo man is filled with remorse and fear. How dare you? I am afraid of nothing. Now he is ashamed for his outburst. Mantis is an empath, Drax. She can sense your emotions. I do not show emotion! Well, what are you sure right now? She's also Anger. the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho holla for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. Wow. What the hell does that mean? Yeah, I want to know the too. The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? She thinks I'm someone called the Celestial One. How about that? Celestial what? Why is there only one? Could that one also be me? No oh boy. Oh, I can explain. Her antenna is gonna glow again? Is she gonna dance? Long ago. Wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumbo jumbo <laughs> about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. <laughs> yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Going on like, now that I got this, I'm gonna roll through the galaxy like a giant turd and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Well, I, for one, want to hear it. I do too. All of it. Then it's time for a nap. Go ahead, Mantis. Enlighten us. I want to know. Of course, Peter Quill. I have communicated only through my feelings for years. But she's like. It is nice to communicate. Okay, with everybody. <laughs> I'm going to tell a wonderful story. Eons ago, the Eternity Forge coalesced into existence as a way to balance the life energy of the universe. To create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. But such colossal power cannot be wielded oh, yeah, lightly. But great so power I was comes great to ensure that the forge was only wielded by someone deserving, and to help guide the wielder down the right path. But I waited, and waited. Oh. Years went by. Many <laughs> unworthy tried to use the forge. Some even oh, to help hurry up, lady. Tell your story. That no culture had matured enough to use the forge with the wisdom required. Tell your Eventually, story. The forge so and I were separated. Lives. Locked away until the time when civilizations could reach the peak of wisdom and maturity. <sighs> and that is only the beginning. Well, what? thanks a lot for that, Pete. Huh? What? Uh, sorry, I wasn't, uh, <laughs> I wasn't listening. I was thinking about something else entirely. Oh, oh, ask me what I'm thinking about. Someone, please. I am Groot. <laughs> Funny you should ask. I'm thinking about punching Quill in the throat. I suppose I should start over then. No. <laughs> no. Eons ago, the Eternity Forge coalesced into existence as a way to balance the life energy you. of the universe. To create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. I should have just told her I heard her Such instead of just power. letting her <laughs> go on with her mumbo jumbo so again. <laughs> I didn't really think she would have keep on right talking. Mm -hmm. I thought she was just gonna shut up and be and good and mad that she's talking. But no, she started over again. Many unworthy tried to use the forge. <sighs> Some even tried to force me to help them. The Kree decided that no culture had matured enough yeah, to use the, the forge the with the forge. wisdom required. Eventually, the forge and I were separated. Once Locked away a time. until a time when civilizations uh. could reach the peak of wisdom and Why does she have to hold her hand like this? She's and that is only the beginning. Well, <sighs> thanks a lot for that, Pete. There is a legend of the Celestial One. Really? I'd the like to hear that shall part. Arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. This Celestial One. What are they like? Advanced intellect, emotionally mature. Why? I'm pretty sure Star Lord isn't any of those above. Of immense power. Someone He's not mature. His He's not emotionally stable. To choose for the greater good. I don't believe in magic. Okay, it's just a lot of superstitious hocus pocus. Yet that which you do not believe in brought you back to life. You must reconcile those two facts, because you are the Celestial One. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. <laughs> if Pete is this Celestial What's-It, 
Then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on... someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss. I can feel it has been with you for some time. The forge is... limited right now. It can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and... undeteriorated. <sighs> I am Groot. You said right now. Now, does that mean that things might be different later? Yes. Well, you can change everything. How? The Celestial One must deliver the forge to the sacred shrine. There, you can unlock its true power or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Destruction? Turning anyone from any time period back to the realm of the living. So he can bring his mom back, Lost he can ones. bring him back. Loved ones. Well, let's unlock this thing. You should know. This power comes with a price. Oh, um, <sighs> saw that coming. Life energy cannot be made. It must be transferred. So someone still has to die for the thing to work. Let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. Yes. Really? Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right now. Hala wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not until my family. <laughs> Oh, if he can get his family right? back too. Root says he's on my side. But That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot oh. feels the opposite. Uh, I mean, maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, I can't believe I never thought to ask this question until now, and it's terrifying me. Do you even understand, Groot? Of course I do. I'm sorry. I just don't want that thing destroyed until we use it. It was a one-time thing. I am Groot. Okay, a two-time thing. So, it is a tie then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. At a cost. Mm. No cost is too high. Right now, I'm leaning towards using it. At a boy. <sighs> But Drax got dead people. He wants his family never should back. Have happened. Thank you, Peter. He wants his mom back. Well, one way or another, this all Rocket ends. Rocket wants at his the girlfriend back. Can you take us there, Mantis? That lady never wants been. her whole colony With back, her help, whole nation back. I believe I can sense its location. So, may we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha ha ha. No go reading me, lady. You have extraordinarily soft hands. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> was there moisturizer built into that tomb thingy? There was not. <laughs> really? Huh. Well, I guess it's because, uh... Please, stop talking. Well, okay. Yep, not talking. I cannot sense the shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them. Okay. Okay, let me go to him first. Calm down. Drax, how are you doing? I am hopeful the Forge can bring my family back if you choose to use it. Well, I... So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter. Even though you did not behave in a trustworthy manner. Huh? Huh? You had no right to have the antenna woman do that to me. Oh. You did not even ask my permission. Mantis was just doing what I asked. That is all on me, buddy. I'm sorry. I accept your apology. Because you are too feeble-minded to know any different. Hey! She told me I was afraid. I do not like to feel afraid. Such feelings bring me great shame. But talking to you, a frequently scared person, has helped. Yeah. Anytime, Drax. One down. Yay.
I can't talk to Groot. Groot. Groot doesn't even say anything. Oh. I can't even understand him. Is that him. a friend of yours? Yeah. I am Groot. I'll tell you this. We're all gonna be okay. No matter what happens with the Forge. I am Groot. Groot has a good heart. Yeah. Hey, bud, what's up? Hey, Pete. You know, I just want to say, you've really been there for me lately. Go with me to Half World, even when that lug nut Nebula turned up. You stuck by your promise. Yeah, well. And now, now you're going to get that damn forge to work. Of course, would have taken someone really idiotic to want to destroy the thing. <coughs> Wait, wait, you were serious about using it, right? You weren't just pulling my leg. I mean, I mean, that would, that would be one sick joke. I am Groot. There's a lot to consider, Rocket. I'm under enough pressure as it is. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You know this is the right thing to do. I don't know. You gotta I, I take a life to give a life? Um, right I here, don't Quill. know at all. I mean, I can count on one paw how many folks ever get a chance to bring back someone they love. I am Groot. I'm not gonna kill someone to use this thing. End of story. You already did. We killed Thanos, remember? And it saved you. you know, come to think of it, I wish the Forge had never brought you back. Wow, yeah. that was me. I am Groot. This should have brought someone else. Anyone else back instead. You don't mean that, Rocket. Now you telling me what I don't mean. Man, the ego on you. I meant every damn word. I am Groot. Have a nice I'm night. I'm punch him. Oh, he's drunk. I know he's drunk. I should have still Unless... punched him. One way to clear his emotional unrest. I am Groot. Oh boy. I have to talk to you two of them. Fine. Fine. Hey, are you okay? The hell was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while. Ugh. She won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely even look at me. So don't give up on her. Family is always worth it. I know. I'm really trying. But I just can't find the right words with her. But maybe, maybe if we had more time, I could try talking to her again, when she's calmed down. Give her some space, without losing her altogether. Well, they say time heals all wounds. Who's they? Oh lord, it's an expression. I have no idea. Maybe I can get her to hang around. <clears throat> yeah, who is the they? It's just it's an just, expression. Maybe not right now. Think she needs some alone. Uh, figure of speech. Mm, I gotta go to her now. Jeez. Why did my crew had to be such a cluster of poop? <laughs> yeah, I wanna talk to you. Um Hey Nebula. Yeah, uh hey. It's me, Peter Quill. But, uh, yeah, but you know that. You mind if I sit? Cool, yeah, this is, uh, this is really... How's the arm? It's not bad. Would have come in handy to have both arms while fighting off the Kree. I suppose I'm lucky you let me out at all. So, thanks, I guess. Like I said, then. It was just a trust exercise. You passed. Pretty sure Gamora still needs convincing. 
Speaking of my dear sister, bet you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve everything I've been through. Gamora says she still cares about you. Yeah. She sure has a funny way of showing oh, it. Oh boy. Gamora doesn't even realize that she's the reason our family ended. Yeah, well that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh yeah? What did you see? Uh... She saved your life from that Kree general dude. I mean, he would have killed you if Gamora hadn't stepped in. No, he wouldn't have. You have no idea what really happened Denial. that day. Denial. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Now, please take my hand. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. I want to see. I want to see what happened afterwards. I want to see what happened. I mean, it clearly looked like it saved her life and she stabbed me. So, I want to see. Well, you know, they say there's two sides to every story. Is everything alright? What's going on? Everything is fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. That's not what it looked like. Nebula, come here. Yes, Father, I'm coming. <sighs> Nebula, my favorite daughter. That ain't Father. True. Your attacks against your sister were swift, precise. You disarmed Gamora easily. I was impressed. But I cheated, Father. I didn't win on my own merit. That was not cheating. Gamora made a mistake. You took advantage of that mistake. Something any skilled warrior would do. There is something you must know. It's what about a Gamora. skilled bad guy would do. She has told don't play me that she rules. does not believe you are ready for this mission. That you never will be. Every day she grows more agitated and bitter as she watches you surpass her. You've seen her lack of respect. She disobeys me time and time again. I no longer trust her. You shouldn't trust her either, Nebula. I'll keep an eye on her from now on. Good. That is all I ask. If she continues to be a problem, you might take her place. Hmm. Stand by my side as my greatest warrior and only daughter. Gamora makes herself more useless, more unreliable with each passing day. It would be an honor, Father. <laughs> we shall see how things go on faith. I guess. I don't know what to choose. This is your moment. Go and prepare. Keep your communications open. I'll be monitoring the situation. Oh, I see. So that's why she was talking to her dad at the end. <laughs> No, this is me. Oh, he got armor on. Oh shit. He just smacked the daylight out of me. <laughs> Ooh. Shit. Steal the shit from me. Nebula! Nebula, are you alright? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! 
You distracted him. I killed him. We did this together. But father Thanos Okay, so I had it under control. I was about to get up and take him. I kicked him back. That's why I fell. Father. If you want to gain the honor you desire, kill Gamora. <gasps> if you don't get rid of her, I will do it myself. Only I will ensure that your sister suffers greatly. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Fine. Here. Okay, so I see what it is. She kind of gave her a solid, because Thanos would have killed her hey, even worse. It's going to be fine. We're going to be okay. So she kind of did her something. I think. I don't know. Well, I know the truth. What were you making that scene? day? It wasn't over. Oh man! Uh, we were just getting to the part where she, um, you know, what? The part where she kills you? I tried to show him what really happened with Tarval, but you interrupted us. I'm sorry. I... I didn't know what was going on. But you naturally assumed the worst. What do you expect after everything that's happened? Hey! She was always pushing against Thanos, testing his limits. What happened was her fault. Yeah. I practically shoved that knife into my own gut. Too bad I had such terrible aim. Some assassin. Gamora, I wasn't trying to kill you. Oh yeah? Then what were you doing? Because it looked exactly like you were trying to kill me. She was just following orders, Gamora. Thanos made her do it. It's true, Gamora. I saved your Admit life! Admit it. You just wanted to prove you were better than me. By killing If me. I wanted to kill you, you'd be oh dead! Oh my god, the drama. Thanos was going to kill you himself. There would have been nothing left of you. The drama. That Did is you know, true. I even checked your pulse, just to make sure you were still alive. You never got to see that part. The most important part, but I did. That doesn't make any sense. The only thing I know is I feel real sorry for the both of you. Man, talk about family drama. Well, clearly, <laughs> this was pointless. I don't know what to believe or what to do. I'm just trying to keep us together. You're my family. Oh, so you finally agree with me about something. Oh, boy. What a surprise! I'm just as surprised as you. I figured you'd disagree with me just because that's what you do. Well, I'm not used to you saying anything I'd ever Maybe agree you with. just aren't listening. If I'm not, there's probably a good yeah. reason. And that reason is that you don't listen. Well, guys, guys, s stop. You both want the same thing. He's actually right. Oh, it happens. Sometimes. Thank God. <laughs> More than sometimes. Thank you. Maybe we could give each other a chance. Man, I had to think about that decision. Right. Jeez. <laughs> Enough with the fighting and just get up. Peter, I can finally sense the shrine. Oh, yeah? Really? Yay! Okay. Let's go. Yay. We put two sisters back together. Yay. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go watch Guardians of the Galaxy after I'm done with this game. I haven't seen volume two yet. I wanna see Baby Groot. He's 
well, always eating it isn't the my tracks. favorite assassin sisters. <laughs> well, that'd be a pretty rad band name. Hey, Peter. Give me one second. I'll meet you in my room. Sure. Assassin Quill. sisters. Yeah. Don't Thank make you a good for talking to Nebula. It means a lot to have her here. It gives me hope. Uh, what are you? Oh, she's hugging me. Uh, I'm gonna hug her too. Ow! Hey. What? Oh, is that a dagger? Is it? What you got? A throwing star there? Whatever, you got something pokey on your hip. I do not usually hug. She's got something pokey on her good hip. Friend, Peter. <laughs> She's a transvestite. Oh no. Uh, hey, Pete. Uh, I threw some mean words your way back there, and I, uh, I just, I wanted to apologize. Nah, you were drunk. It's all so, good. So, yeah. Sorry about that. Just, uh, I got worked up, you know? This whole forge thing. Hey, don't even worry about it, man. Best friends forever? Yeah, at least until death. It's close enough. <laughs> hmm. Oh, she's enjoying my music. All right. Wow, you take great pride in yourself. For someone who is so sad. You are a very nostalgic person. <laughs> no, don't start crying. Please don't start hey, crying. Hey, whoa, what's the matter? Why, Why are you crying? Why am I crying? <laughs> oh, God. The little box brings you so God. much sorrow. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. They're just crying. Oh. I'm sorry for that. Sometimes emotions overwhelm me and reflect back onto others. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay. Everyone on this ship is so poisoned by their feelings, overly focused on the past, not living here in the now, experiencing all the wonderful things around you. Well, it's. Hard to let go of the past. Makes you who you are. I can see that. But I don't want to be defined by what came before. Everyone should be able to correct the course they're on. Hmm. Easier said than done, lady. Thank you for letting me listen to your music. It made me feel better. And worse at the same time. <sighs> I loved it. She's like an emotional roller coaster that someone just let go. Hey, Mantis. Can you direct me to that magic shrine thing now? Of course. But it is a long way and I must concentrate completely. There can be no there can be no distraction. Oh, you have made an awe-inspiring man. Distractions. I'll see what I can do. Oh, it sucks when you can't hear the music. <laughs> oh well. Sorry guys. I do apologize again for having no music whatsoever. <sighs> okay, home in on it. Home in on it. <laughs> Didn't I just shush his mouth from one side of the m and then Trying to cheat. Okay. 
right, here we go. Find that location later. doing out there Wow, look at all the stars. Okay, where are we going? Mars? Why she always has to have her hands like that? It looks so weird. Like, when I was in the choir, we used to hold our hands like that and we were singing. I mean, it's creepy looking back on it now. I mean, it's creepy that she's doing that. The like, entrance to the shrine. <sighs> Why she gotta do like that? Oh. I mean, when we were in a choir, I mean, you gotta do it. That's when you're singing and stuff. When you're in a choir. But she's not even... Uh, why didn't you just let her put her hands on the side or something? Do something with your hands instead of doing this. Uh. Oh no, we're at another creepy temple, where you... <laughs> This is it. Yay! Another temple! <laughs> That's what I just said, yeah. Rocket. The Kree were not only skilled warriors, you can find great symbolism in much of their architecture. Yeah, yeah, they like pretty things. We yeah, get it. pretty shiny now things. Now what, Pete? Mantis? Any pointers? It appears that the forge goes there, on the altar. Okay, do it. Mm. Of course it would have to be a puzzle. Seriously? Hmm. Well, that was anticlimactic. Relic in place. Check. Must be something else to it. Hey guys, have a look around. See if you can find anything that looks off. Mm, I am grooved. Everything of looks course off. Of course something's wrong, because we're in a freaking Creed temple, where everything is always more complicated than it needs exactly. to be. Exactly. I mean, ain't they ever heard of an on switch? Maybe she can help us. So, uh... Are you glad you stayed with Gamora? Yes. I think staying close to my sister is what's best for both of us. I hope so. Because otherwise I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get the blame. Mm-hmm. Okay. He is shining...
nothing is going through there. What is he doing up there? How did I get up there without even flying? Once we get all these statues working, are you ready for whatever happens next? That depends on you, Pete. You know how much bringing Lila back means to me. And only you can make that happen. Hmm. Okay, let me look around. Hmm, the knee looks weird. This guy looks almost peaceful, just standing here for who knows how long. Yes, waiting for the Celestial One to determine the fate of the Eternity Forge. Yeah? But see, he knows you'll do the right thing. Peaceful, like you said. Hmm. I still don't have no clue what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, that one shine to that one. Hmm. No one shine to that one. This guy here, he's broken. can't talk to her? No? But why not? How do I do this again? I don't remember. Why won't let me go close to this guy though? And it won't let me talk to her. Why can't I talk to her? And why can't I go up here? I so forgot the controls. Okay, let me talk to her. Then. 
No matter what I decide about the Eternity Forge, you've got my back, right? I am Groot. Is that a yes? Or a no? I am Groot. How you holding up, buddy? I am Groot. Yeah, well, don't get your hopes up. P could still do the right thing and decide not to destroy the most useful artifact in the universe. Hmm. I guess I gotta talk to everybody first. Ugh. Well, we're about to seal the fate of the Eternity Forge. Yes. Your decision will leave you despised by much of the team. Good pep talk. Thanks, Drax. No matter what you choose. Yep, you can stop. And there's three of us that wants our family back. There's two of them that don't. Anything? Forge led me here, but has grown quiet. Hmm. How do you know I'll make the right choice about the Forge? I do not know that. Oh. You are the wielder of the Eternity Forge. It chose you. You must trust there's a reason. Yeah. Okay. No pressure at all. So, what now? Prepare the statues. Determine the fate of the universe. Oh, is that all? But how do I prepare the statues? Hmm. I have no clue what to do right now. I have no clue what to do. I really have no clue. Mm, I can't go there.
Wow, there we go. There we go. <laughs> no, you were saying? Okay. So. Let's get group. I see the problem. The alignment is all out of whack. Well, whack it back so we can get on with it. Hmm. Okay, so. I gotta go to... Yeah, statue. Let's see. Not that one. Okay, this one is perfect. And then... Rocket, tell Groot I need some help with the lens thingy. Okay, okay. I am Groot. Thank you, Groot. Yeah, good job, buddy. Forge is gonna be resurrected in no time. I am Groot. He says he wants me to be happy, but that this isn't about me. Is that really what he said? One more to go. Something tells me it's not gonna be easy. Hmm. I don't even know where the last piece of this thing is. Oh, finally I can talk to her. How's it going, Gamora? few minutes we're gonna have to decide the fate of the eternity forge not we you for whatever reason this is all in your hands look i know you haven't really sided with me or taken any of my advice lately but the forge is dangerous you have to make sure no one can use it ever But isn't this whole episode about him bringing his mom back? Okay, let's what see. Shit. This big guy used to stand here holding up that giant whatever it is thingy. Then things go bad. Age sets in. Oh no, I dropped it. Ah. So where did it go? There it goes.
Relax, it's just a hologram. I know. It bounced and went this way though. Now, Celestial One. It's under here. So I'm going to need help. This thing really took a hit when that lens smashed into it. It might still be intact under there. That's what I'm counting on. Jet boots overheated. Okay, I'm gonna have to ask for help. Come here, big boy. He seems to be like. Drax, I need your muscles. You cannot have them. They are attached to me. No, I know they. <laughs> Not I, I need your help. <laughs> I gotta lift something very heavy. Ah, I see. You are weak. <laughs> I will help you. I'm weak. Yeah, I'm fruitile. I am ready. <laughs> mm. Good would have picked that shit up like nothing. Can't quite reach. Rocket. Ah. Hey, Rocket. I need you to grab that lens. Ah, uh, getting crushed to death ain't on my list of to-dos, Pete. I'm sure if you just reach really hard, you, you could get it. We'll never be able to use the forge if we don't get that lens. Right, on it. Well, that was fast. That was quick convincing. I get smushed. I'd better be first in line for some resurrection. <laughs> yeah, you'll be first in line for some resurrection. Here. Uh, no resurrection thanks. needed for him. Interesting. Stop. Now, who's gonna hold that up there all the time? There is still no statue upon which to set it. I would have gotten the lens, guys. I was just, you know, working up to it. Hmm. Yep. We just gotta, you know, work together. Oh, you mean like. A team? What a novel idea. Yes, teamwork often brings good feelings. Hmm. Perhaps we are doing it wrong, Ben. Okay, listen up. I need everyone over here. Except for Groot. Nope, not gonna happen. Just a little higher. My arms can't go any higher. Your muscles are soft. Shut Why up. didn't they like, stop Groot Groot talking to like this one and somebody pulled up the other one? No! That's my face! A very fat baby. Sorry. Hey, what do I know about whatever you are, anatomy? Idiots. Maybe your people enjoy having their faces stepped on. Oh, I didn't know I had to control him. Oh, a giant needle. What now? It's done. That mean I can drop this thing? <laughs> These freaking temples. <laughs> I'm gonna take dynamite to all of them. <laughs> now it is so time man. to decide. Hmm. Everybody wants their family back. Turn the forge to the left to destroy it forever. Turn the forge to the right to empower it and bring it to its full potential. Okay. Wait. Wait, his right or your right? Oh. 
Hmm. I don't know. What? what? Let me see. Wow. I can't believe that almost happened. Turn it this way to destroy it. Turn it this... Yeah, we got it. Turn it to the right, Pete. It's left, Peter. You want your left. Peter, you must turn it left. No! It's right to empower you, idiot. I'm sorry. But if the Forge can bring back the people we love, it's worth any risk. I'm going to empower As you wish, Celestial One. There's a lot of people want to see their families back. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I have a feeling I should have destroyed it. Don't let go. Don't get let go. No matter what you do. So much for guarding the galaxy. We are no better than Thanos. Don't bring your daddy issues into this. Watch it, vermin. Do not threaten my friend. Pete did the right thing. Says the raccoon. He has Don't no call me a whatsoever. raccoon. I'm looking out for life. Process has begun. You can release it. After you murder someone to bring her back. Oh, you're gonna give me crap about murdering someone? You worried I'll take your place as the galaxy's number one murderer? Rocket! I am through! It is over. We won. No, we just lost. How can neither of you see that? Guys, we got company! Thank you, Peter Quill. I never could have found this shrine without you. <gasps> and the tracking device genes are placed on your ship. <laughs> you know, I didn't think you could get more annoying than that time you killed me. <laughs> you really suck. Their usefulness has expired. Dispose well, of them. If I kill all of them right there, that's my trade off. Oh, I've had about enough of this. God, boots are more busted than I thought. Nothing is still falling. How you like me now, huh? <laughs> the sword is still following me. No, 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 no! No, 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 realizes oh. that. She's going to stab me again, goddammit. <laughs> to the depths, blue demon. Nice, nice combo. He knows he can just let go, right? Rocket, get the shit off of her. Nice. Well, ain't that something? Who just shot me? Stop the rodent! Big blue lady. Not the first time. Rocket, put that gloves on and use that damn stick. Intriguing. There we go. You let me have a minute. Sheesh. Now, it was up. Put that thing on, you know. Well, that was surprisingly easy. Hang on, buddy, I got you. Ah! 
<gasps> no. Oh shit. Ah oh, crap. Why? Why? This is a huge mistake. She gonna make him cry? <laughs> yeah, she did. She made him cry. I am sorry to have made you sad. Wow, she made him cry. We should do this more often. Looks like the boys could use some help. This won't be easy. Hope not. No, don't let her get it. It had a damn it, it had a I missed the uh, here we go. I missed the thing. We should do this more often. Looks like the boys could use some help. This won't be easy. Hope not. Now I see the button. I didn't wasn't seen it before. He give her back her stick. That was not a good idea. No. Oh boy, there goes my sister. So now I'm gonna have to bring her. Nebula. <sighs> Wait, she's a robot. I'm okay. The eternity no. march is mine. They powered it up and they gave it to her. Baldir, my son, come back to me. That's who she wanted, her son? Okay. What if he's evil? Mother. She's bringing back all of her army. Oh boy. Well, I guess the next episode is going to be a big war. Trying to stop the evil lady. <laughs> uh, well, 
That was the end of episode 3, More Than a Feelings. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I catch you guys on the next video. I hope you enjoy this gameplay. I'll see you next time. That's a wrap. And I am out right after I finish showing you guys my choices. Wow. Not bad. I pretty much oh that one I didn't go with everyone. My last choice. Well my first choice, um I guess a lot of people didn't uh, use their words. My first choice was I did use my words so and my last choice um a lot of people destroyed the forge. I wanted to destroy the forge, but I don't think it would have played out that way, even if I did choose to destroy the forge. I think we would have still had to battle that lady, but now it's even more harder having to battle her and her army. But it'll still give me a chance, I'm hoping at the end, to bring back my mom and everyone's family that we lost. So let's see what happens next time and hope for the best, I guess. <laughs> Alright, well, that's a wrap for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys have any suggestions or questions, hit it in the comment box. I really don't know if I made the right choice. Should I have destroyed, destroyed the forge or did I make the right choice by giving the opportunity to bring back the loved ones that we lost? Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And thank you guys so much for watching. That's a wrap and I am out. Yeah.